Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to, uh, well, uh, kind of a community showcase or a Devil's Lake High School showcase, I guess you would call it, um, for the fine arts. Uh, we've got a couple things for you tonight. Uh, we have a one act play, it's called Tracks. And it's actually the same play that we'll be taking to the state Class A um, play comp or festival, not competition, uh, tomorrow morning. Uh, so we wanted to share that with the community <coughs> as well as with uh, our peers among the state. Uh, we also have a few selections from the speech team. And I think they run the gamut from entertaining to serious. Am I correct? I think we're just doing some serious and some humorous. Okay, so, all right, we kind of run the gamut tonight. So hopefully we've got something for everyone tonight. Um, right directly after our one act, we will just hop right into the speeches to get you hopefully out while there's still some sunlight left so you can enjoy your beautiful spring evening. All right, thank you all for coming.
California. I teach English and European literature at UC Berkeley. And where do you think we are? The sisters and I were vacationing in Rome. I wanted to go there all my life. I was reading up on the cathedrals we were going to see tomorrow, and I, I believe I dozed off. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. I was walking to the bus stop, talking on my cell phone. I may not have been paying close enough attention, but I am positive I never entered a subway station. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> if you have something to contribute to this conversation, then please do so. Are you sure you want my contribution? You were here when we got here. You must know where we are. Where we are? We're in a subway station that connects to several different places including a hospital in Jacksonville, Florida. This is ridiculous. It must be a dream or something. This isn't a dream. I ran across Central Park. I know that for a fact. Oh, that's right. You escaped the money. Have you checked your wallet? My wallet? What's that got to do? Look in your wallet, Sonny. All my money? Gone? But how? Maybe you didn't get away. Consider that. What does that mean? The poor man has been robbed. Show some compassion. And that still doesn't explain where we are, how we all could have gotten here. People who've been clinically dead but resuscitated have claimed to see a bright light at the end of a tunnel. Hmm. When's the next train come? That's clever thinking. I hadn't thought of that. The only way he could have taken my money is if... is if he stabbed me. So how does that work? Did he stab me? Then what am I? Dead? We are all dead. We can't be dead. You're all going to accept without proof that the afterlife is a subway station and we're all dead? I won't. I'm not convinced beyond reasonable doubt. Spoken just like your kind. Look at the evidence. What evidence? Stop watches, phones with no reception. How could we all have gotten to the same subway station from so many different places? And why didn't I put some clothes on for Pete's sake? <laughs> <laughs> all circumstantial, I'm still not convinced. It doesn't matter if you're convinced or not. You're still dead. We are. And why do you believe him? I know what this is. She's been brainwashed. It's some sort of government experiment or alien abduction. Now, let's not jump to conspiracy theories here. They may be telling the truth. She was here before I was. So you knew this all when we got here? Yeah. Yet you withheld information from us. How dare you? She's not to blame for our passing. What was she supposed to say? Nice to meet you, and by the way, you're recently deceased. You wouldn't have believed her anyways. I don't believe her. For all we know, this could be a bad dream. I knew I shouldn't have stayed at the office so late. I'm getting out of here calling a cab before it's too late. There is no way out. No stairways at the street level, just stairways down to the platform. What? How can that be? How did we get in then? If we're dead, does it matter? Our spirits, or whatever we are, were probably brought to this place. I would assume we materialized upstairs or something to that effect. But my kids! How will they? They're there, dearie. Their father loves them and will get them through this. That's not the point. If we're dead, then I'm never going to see them again. As it is, I haven't always been there for them. Ever since my husband got laid off and I had to go back to work, I've missed the past four years of their lives and now I'm going to miss the rest. I'm sure they know you love them. But I haven't always been there for them. What kind of parent have I been? Uh. We've passed an hour and hour to guilt. Wake me when the next train comes. Dearie, you did what you could to provide for your family. The Lord will not fault you for that. Well, your family needed money and I, you took care of that, I assume. What you did was honorable. You don't get it, do you? You must not have kids. I have a son. He's an engineering major in college. He's a good man. My wife and I. We're very proud. Two daughters, still in high school. Sister, I'd like to make a confession. What is it, son? I don't always go to church on Sundays, but I've done something what terrible. What are you doing? If I'm